Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Exor. On the menu tonight we have level 3 Chicken Supreme. And we have already seen the fish and chickens, but this level uses them in combination. If you've seen my videos of Robbo, you may think this is familiar territory as the fish and chickens are obviously very much like the things and kettles from that game. But the fact that they kill us if they hit us does make puzzles quite a bit different, as we are about to find out. Whoop. That is the game's way of telling us when we have been killed. And now we do have to start this level again. In general, you can continue with just one shield, but on this level, as you can see from the map, which they generously give us all four portions of right at the start, the two shields are in entirely separate portions of the maze, and so we have to get all the masks in one portion and form with them the other. So, what happened? Well, when I got both masks, both chickens moved left and the fish fell and the top chicken moved. So if I do it this way round, if I get one mask and move the chicken, then nothing untoward happens. And it's similar with this problem. If I now stepped up, the chicken would move left, the fish would fall, the other chicken would still move, so I move down. Remember, as before, you cannot move while the other things are in motion. So there's no good need to correct on shuffle the next one. Here we see a favourite trick of the level designers. It's exactly the same puzzle, just with the horizontal and vertical reverse. They do like to do that often. Anyway, we've now got everything that we can in this part of the maze, so let's switch to our other shield. This is one of Exor's many guessing games. If we push this chicken up, we can't exit by the top passage, and if we push the chicken down, we can't exit by the bottom passage. Which one of those is correct? It's hard to tell from the map. But it turns out this way is correct. Here we have to push this first chicken down, so the other chickens will move left and move down without trapping that mass. Here, it's similar to before. Pushing the fish down ensures that only one fish falls and the other one holds the chickens in place so they don't kill us. Similarly here, that fish is a mobile, so we push the chicken against it and then only the upper chicken will move left and we have room to get that. Now on these puzzles here, you may well guess that I've played this level before, because that would have been a risky move, but I didn't look up to see what was coming. But that was such a good I didn't think we were going to show it to you before. Now this one is interesting. How do we get that mask and survive? Well, there is only one thing we can try, so let's try moving down. Yes, it turns out the chicken moves before the fish. Can we use that to solve this lower puzzle? Yes, we can. Just don't take the mask on the left. Take the matter of that. Now we come down here and get these masks, and if we get that force field, the only way to move is up, and that chicken would hit us. So the way to get out of here is to ignore the force field completely and go like that. Now we come down and head into the last part of the level. Here we push the second fish to the left. If we pushed any of the upper fish, then that mask would become trapped. And this may look a bit complicated, but if you just try getting the masks in the obvious way and see what happens, it turns out that this position is impossible to get the remaining masks from, so there's no problem. Now we're at the door, just have to get the top mask first, last the chicken would hit us, and that's the last puzzle on that level. We get a big. See you next time.